I did it the wrong way, but um, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I am trying the very best I can with this. Hey guys, it's me Desiree Marie and I'm back. Welcome to my channel. If you are here for the very first time, I do a lot of lock update videos. I talk about locks, lock care, hair tips. I also share a lot of my life on the vlog. So if you're not subscribed, do subscribe to this channel. But other than that, here we're here today for a much awaited lock update video. I know I have not been updating you guys and girls on my hair. Um, not much has really changed. And I, to be honest, I've been really lazy with my hair since the last video. Um, the last video, I believe, I retwisted with water. And that was like the last time I retwisted. As you can see, my hair is in need of some hair care, some care, some kind of care. I have not washed it since. Yes, I know, guys. I know. <laughs> I have not washed it since. But um, today, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me as I wash my hair and I do the ACV and baking soda rinse. Um, if you didn't see my last video on this, um, the baking soda and ACV rinse is meant to... Um, cleanse your hair and really detox your hair from all of the buildup that you may have incurred while using gels and other products. For me, it was gels. I used a lot of gels around my edges these last few weeks. I know guys, I know, <laughs> I know. It's, I, I, I just been trying to keep this hair looking decent while it's not retwisted. So, um, because the water retwist did not, did not last very long. So since then I've been trying to keep the hair under control, control the edges, lay the edges, <laughs> make it look like something in between maintenance. But today I'm going to finally do my hair. Um, I'm going to be washing it, doing the ACV rinse, and um, showing you guys the progression along the way. In the next video I'm going to show you how I achieve one of my favorite protective hairstyles. So, if you want to see that, just keep watching. Um, that's in another video, but this video is all about the hair care and the updates. So, as you guys you know, I already said, my hair has been a little bit dry, a little bit on the dry side, but not really. Like, it feels dry, however, it doesn't feel like it needs a whole lot. Um, the only things I've been using in my hair is my grapeseed oil and a little bit of gel around the edges. Um, I have been wearing my hair um, up. You know, you guys know that I like to put my hair up like this. I did, you know, I had my hair half up, half down. Um, I also had like the pigtail style. You guys saw that in my last vlog when I went up with you guys. Um, I have not just cut my hair like this, only when I'm just lounging around the house. Because I did tell you guys I feel a little bit insecure about how my hair looks right now. Um, first of all, I don't like the layers. I just want everything to come together. And um, I feel like it's kind of in an awkward stage. It has grown. I'm very happy about that. A lot of you guys have um, pointed out to me that my hair has grown. And I yes, I see the progression. However, it's I see that it's getting longer. But at the same time, it looks a little awkward because there are some pieces up top that I still have not, you know, come together. Like, I have this right here that likes to just stick out for no apparent reason at all. I just have to remind myself that this lock journey is not all about perfection. You're going to have hairs that are growing at different speeds. Also because of the placement on top, you know, the place where your hair is on top of your head. It's not going to be down here. Like, this, all your hair is growing. But it's just that this hair is up here, so it doesn't look as long as where it looks down here. You guys get it. But um, look at this. My hair just sticks up in random places. Just random, random places. <laughs> but yeah, um, dryness. Yes, I have dealt with that. Um, my scalp, I think it is dry. It does need some conditioning. 
Um, speaking of conditioning, I have thought about using conditioner. I don't have conditioner today, but I am going to consider that for my next wash and maintain maintenance day. I have thought about using conditioner, um, a, a YouTuber that has kind of helped me with that, thinking about that is pretty and purple. She was just talking about conditioner in her locks, something that she did not think that she would do at all, but she tried it out and it worked out for her. I'm going to do that because I feel like my hair needs a little bit of moisture in between. I don't believe like oil by itself is working right now and maybe that's because of the change of the weather. Now that the weather is colder, especially out here in New York, it's kind of changing up, but the weather is progressing into fall and winter weather, now is the time that I really need to coat my hair with a lot of moisture and I think that conditioner will add that extra moisture into my hair, so yeah. Um, any other changes? I have seen balls back in my hair again guys. You guys know how annoyed I've been with the balls at the ends of my hair. I thought that I got over that stage, I thought that stage was over. However, I have found that they are back. <laughs> they are back. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know. I thought that the ends were fine and it's just doing a whole lot. I just have the need, I just feel the need to just pop it right off. But for some reason it's sticking it's not clinging to like one or two strands, it's actually clinging to many strands, so it makes me wonder if it's actually doing something. I don't get it. I really want to just pop the ends off. But I'm going to be patient for now, see what it looks like after I wash my hair. Um, my edges, now I know that I've been pulling my hair and doing different styles. I have not really pulled it too tight, I've always given my hair a little slack when I use um, rubber band and stuff. However, my edges look like they need a little bit of help. So um, I'm going to consider using castor oil next time. I don't have it right now, but I'm going to start rubbing in you know, castor oil on this side. It's not even this side that I'm wondering about my edges. It's more this side. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking. What do you guys think? Don't, don't, be, too, don't be too hard on my edges, all right? <laughs> Other than that, guys, um, nothing has really changed. I do know that it's growing. There's a lot of length. And um, I'm excited about that. So I'm just going to get right into washing my hair. I'm going to show you what I use, get into washing my hair, and then using the ACV rinse and allowing you to see how I do it. <laughs> the trial and the error stage. Um, yeah, guys, so come along with me. Let's go. Alright guys, so this is what I'm going to use today. I have here the Vermont Artisan Cannery Village Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. It does have the mother, so it's raw and unfiltered. Um, this is not exactly the Bragg's, you know, it's not Bragg's, but it is another good brand if you're looking for um, an ACV. I got this from Key Food at my local Key Food store. And I'm also going to be using baking soda. Normal baking soda, you get this at the corner store, at the you know, grocery store. It's very cheap. I took this out of my refrigerator because it is, you know, it was time for me to refresh. So I'm just going to use this on my hair and um, cosmetics, you know, even on my teeth. I'll use that on my teeth and my hair now that I'm not using it in the refrigerator. I also grabbed myself a spoon because I'm going to put this. Um, you know, take spoonfuls and put it into the water just to control how much uh, baking soda that I use and also the ACV so I can show you the pro you know, the proper portions in which to use when you do the rinse. Alright, so we're just going to leave this here for now while I go and wash my hair. Well, hello. Welcome to the bathroom. You guys already know this spot, right? <laughs> so I'm going to wash my hair and of course you already know the shampoo that I use. This is the Dr. Barner's Castile Soap. Um, Baby Miles Unscented. Very good shampoo in my opinion. I've used it many times and I find that the lather is great and it really washes my hair so well that at the end of washing I feel like I need to condition because the hair is like stripped. <laughs> 
so um, instead I use oil afterwards but for now I'm going to use this I'm going to wash my hair in this tub I'm not going to show you guys because I already showed you I already showed you how to wash your hair with locks and I don't have the extra hands available to help me to film that portion so I'll be right back I'm going to wash my hair and come right back show you how it looks stay tuned Oh, and I'm going to grab my handy dandy t-shirt. Um, I believe I left it out here in the living room. Yes, I did. When you wash your hair, you want to make sure that you have a cotton t-shirt handy because that is going to help you not um, get any, you know, any of those lint built up in your hair that the towels uh, tend to give your hair. So don't use a towel on your locks. Use a cotton t-shirt so that you don't get you know, any build up, any type of lens. Let's go. Guys, I didn't want to start washing my hair without showing you the real up close look of my hair right now. Guys, I am embarrassed, but I'm going to show you anyway because I don't believe you're going to judge me. But because I was using gel on my edges and did not rinse it after, um, you know, after the day, <laughs> I have flakes. I have flakes all around. Let me just turn on this light flakes flakes right here I know very gross flakes right there all around the edges it's not even behind you know anywhere else on my head but only where I used it so I have a situation like this situation like this and so forth so that is the reason why I am so excited to do this ACV and baking soda rinse because I really need to get that out of my hair and I don't want it to stay in because as you know when you have locks that will stick in your hair it will stay in your hair and your hair will grow but you will have that the nasty buildup in there and it will peek through your locks sometimes you'll see it sometimes you won't so hey guys that's the look of my hair right now just wanted to show you before I start washing <laughs> Alright guys, so I washed my hair and that took maybe like 10 minutes, maybe a little less than 10 minutes. And um, yeah, it, you know, I, I, you know it, it was the same wash, didn't take very long, it was very easy. However, I did find something that makes me realize I need to take better care of my hair. Let me show you. Hair, tiny hairs. It looks like my hair is breaking. I'm sorry to show you guys the dirty water, <laughs> but it looks like my hair is breaking. So I need, 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 need to moisturize my hair a whole lot better. And I, I, this definitely makes me want to go out and get some conditioner even sooner. So I will be conditioning my hair. Um, in the the next coming weeks because I cannot have my hair breaking like this my hair has been dry and yes that's because I have not really been moisturizing as I should but that we cannot have that well, we cannot <laughs> so now that my hair is all um, washed I'm going to grab the ACV and the baking soda I always love how my hair feels after it's washed it drops down, it feels a whole lot calmer, you know, everything just falls nicely. I don't have that stringy, that, that lock just pointing in this way. Everything kind of melts down and feels great. And um, I always feel like my hair looks a lot longer, but that's because of the water <laughs> still in my locks. But um, anyway, I'm going to go get my 
uh, ATV and the baking soda for the second time. I know, I know, I know, guys. I, I'll be repeating myself. Let me go get it. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So now that we have the sink filled up, I'm going to take some of my ACV apple cider vinegar, take my tablespoon, and fill the ACV in the tablespoon. One, two, three, and four times. So that's four tablespoons of ACV in the water and then I'm going to take my baking soda and put some of that into the sink as well. Okay, so here's one whole heap. I'll put three try not to overdo it but uh yeah that should be good enough so the water will look a little cloudy of course you're going to dunk your head in there <laughs> I'm going to try to keep my head in there for about half an hour <laughs> let's see if I really can and um yeah, we'll see how this works. First, I have to get my phone so I can actually see what time it is. So the time is 1030 and I'm going to stay here for until 11. <laughs> All right, guys, enough talking. Oh my gosh, this is funny. All right, <laughs> I don't know if you could see me, but um, let me it over there. <laughs> oh, MG. All right, I hope you can see me, but um, yeah, what I'm doing here is smushing my hair while it's it is in the sink, swishing it, um, scrunching it with my fingers. And just moving my head all around. Especially getting it on the edges where I really had problems with. <laughs> um, you can put a towel around your um, neck if you feel like the water is getting on you. As you can see, the water is already turning colors because my hair has a lot of stuff inside of it, a lot of nasty gook from the oils and the, the um, gel. Since the last time I did this, which was months ago, and guys, you already know, that was struggle road. That was struggle road. I did it the wrong way, but... Um, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I am trying the very best I can with this. However, you know what, if I had a chair, I could just sit like this, but I don't have a chair, so I'm just going to have to use my legs and just kind of make it work. This is okay. This is a lot more comfortable than when I had this on the floor in a bowl. Guys, when you see me do stupid stuff like that, please slap me. <laughs> slap me automatically, immediately. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm on my knees. All right, cool. This is good. This is the real deal, guys. Not all the time will you take a YouTube video by face value and feel comfortable like doing exactly what they do. Sometimes you got to struggle in order to know exactly how to do things. <laughs> in my case, I now know how to do this. Um, so yeah, I'm continuing to swish 
to move my hair around so that the mixture has access to my hair and the inside of my hair and to really get in there and do its job. And the water looks like it's getting a lot dirtier. That means that it's working. That means that all of the dirt and gook from your hair is coming out. You wanna see that. If you don't see that, then perhaps you don't need to do this. But, um, as you can see, I needed to do this a long time ago. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm gonna do this. Stay here for whew, half an hour and come right back. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Alright guys, so I'm still here, soaking my hair. And I just realized that my phone, the thing that I'm using to take the time and track my time here, is all the way over there. So now I have to find a way to get from here to there. I thought this was hilarious, so I'm gonna just let you guys see me do it without me taking my hair from the sink. All right, we got it. <laughs> okay, so the time is 10.45. I've been here for 15 minutes. And um, yeah, as you can see, the water is a lot more cloudy. If you stay here for a good hour, that water will be dark, like black. Um, but I'm not staying here for a whole hour. I'm trying to put this one back. <laughs> I hope you guys are entertained. This is a full vlog, a full hair lock regime video so you know get your snacks get your, your <laughs> get your food get your snacks because this is gonna be a long one um but this is the last step so after this i'm going to rinse my hair and then come back and talk to you guys about this experience my hand is shaking <laughs> this camera is shaking because uh, i've had to hold this for some time now but um guys let me know if you have tried this before and how you do this and you know and, and stay how do you do this and remain comfortable like remain in a comfortable position because every time i do this i mean this is this is the most comfortable i've been the last time i did this i used a, a bowl i put it on the floor and I had stuff on the floor so that the floor wouldn't get wet and I laid down and put my head in the bowl and that was the most uncomfortable position. That was very uncomfortable. I had to put my body in a very unnatural position in order to keep my hair soaked. And I did that for like an hour. That was crazy. But guys, what technique do you use? What do you do to stay you know in the water for a long time and not feel like your back is about to get you know come out because <laughs> one subscriber told me that she tried it and her she had back problems so i don't want to give anyone back problems for real though <laughs> like um let us know if you have any better methods so that we can do this and not be uh broke back after this um yes yeah, so i have another 15 minutes in this water trying to make conversation so that this thing goes quickly but yeah the water is turning disgustingly dark that makes me really feel like look desert what were you doing <laughs> so what i'm gonna do now is kind of switch positions because i feel like the back has gotten enough and i'm gonna kind of allow the you know, one side of my head to get more now when you do this, you don't want it to touch your skin too much. I did that and I ended up like itching. It was very, very like powerful on my skin and it made me itch the next few days. So don't do that. Try your best not to let it touch your skin. If it does, it's not a big tragedy. It's all right. But just don't keep your, your head in the solution <laughs> like I did. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm just about ready now. <sighs> Look at that disgustingly dark water. It is dark. I don't know if this camera is doing it justice, but it is dark. Look at that. That is so disgusting. 
that is all that came out of my hair. Oh, this is why we need to do this more often, especially with our locks, because we can be having all of this dirt in our locks and not even know. Eeks. Hey guys, I'm back. Of course, I have my towel on top of my t-shirt. It's not touching my locks, but we're going to uncover my locks and see what the ACV rinse did for my hair. Whew. All right. So here's what my hair looks like. It certainly feels more clean. I don't see any of the nasty buildup on my edges on this side, uh, nor do I see anything left on this side. So it really pulled up a lot of, um, you know, the stuff that I had in my hair. Those are the only problem areas. But guys, you can take a look for yourself. Um, looks like my hair is clean. It successfully detoxed my hair. So I'm very happy about that. Yeah, looks good. So um, yeah, I'm going to meet you guys on the couch and moisturize my hair, uh, dry off my hair a little bit more and moisturize my hair and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so we're back. My hair is still dripping, so I'm just going to go ahead and dry it. The tips. My hair feels a whole lot more full um, each lock because um, what happens when your hair is dry is it starts to feel very tight. Each lock feels a lot tighter and it's just very constricted but once you wash your hair and um, after doing this ACV rinse I feel like my locks have puffed out more now because they received the, you know, the water that it so desperately needed felt like the locks were like scrunching in looking for any type of water and it could not find anything um, plus I have not been hydrating my um, body as I should so we gonna work on that you know we gonna work we gonna work on that but right now I have my handy dandy grapeseed oil this thing looks real ratchet because I've been using it for a long time <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my hair with the grapeseed oil <laughs> Try not to get it on the couch. I find that this oil works really well on my hair. Um, so I'm going. What I'm going to do is um, concentrate on the ends because, like I told you guys, um, after I washed my hair, I saw a lot of those little like hairs floating around in the, the tub. That makes me think that my hair is breaking. So of course that comes from the ends. I'm gonna make sure and scrunch this grapeseed oil on the ends. That's all my fault. I was not moisturizing my hair as I should. I don't know where my spray bottle is, so that's another problem. But I'm gonna have to look for it. Can't make any excuses, especially now that the weather is a lot colder and it's going to get even colder. I have to be on my moisturizing game. So I'm gonna scrunch it in like this. Make sure that it receives the TLC that it needs. Ooh, my hair definitely looks longer. I'm gonna go ahead and just moisturize again all over my head. Just for security, you know? I don't need to oil my scalp because right now the natural oils will come out of my scalp. Um, I'm not going to overload my scalp with too much until it 
needs it throughout the week and I'll do that. So maybe on Wednesday, today's Sunday, on Wednesday, I will go in and like oil my scalp. But for now, it's not needed. I'm giving myself a little, you know, head massage. Get the blood moving and that's it guys. That is it. That is it. That is it. Growth on fleek. The growth is on fleek, guys. I am excited. Guys, you know I'm always excited. But hair growth is on fleek. I'm excited. And you know what? I can attribute that to also eating better. I have been eating better. I have not been eating too much meat. I've been eating more veggies. Um, fruits I haven't had a whole lot of, but I've been eating more veggies. I could be drinking more water. I could be exercising more. <laughs> you know, but it's all in baby steps. I've been eating more plants. I've been trying, if, if you guys have been following me on my vlogs, you know that I've I made the decision to switch, to, to not, not really switch, but um, transition to eating more plant-based stuff. So I think that might be working for my hair, you know? I still have these disgusting ends, so I'm just going to pop that right off, guys. Don't, don't yell at me, okay? But it's just annoying. It's annoying to look at the ends and see that it's not doing anything, right? It's just sitting there looking really disgusting. So I'm just going to make sure I go through the ends, see which other one I'd like to pop. Not all of them are necessary. Like this one, I'll just leave that. That's okay. Um, on this side, I don't have any issues on this side. But yeah, guys, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this extensive hair vlog um i hope that you try this out yourself and if you have let us know down below how that worked for you what's your favorite regimen in the fall and winter time you know how we have to change up our regimen a little bit so that our hair can thrive in all seasons so what is your favorite way to give your hair some tlc let us know down below um, let us know how your hair journey is going as well if you have any questions let us know so that we can answer those i have not been doing my q and a's because i haven't been receiving questions so guys that means that you have to send in the questions about hair and i will make a video just for you so Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed because we have many more hair videos coming up. But until then, guys, see you in the next one. Bye.